After beating the Rays 8-2 on opening day yesterday, you knew they would come out with a vengeance this afternoon. And to start our night, yeah, it wasn't great. They fall 8-2. The rules reversed tonight as the Rays beat the Jays 8-2 and have split the first two games of the season. Chris Bassett wasn't particularly great. He was great early on, but struggled in that, what was that, the fourth inning, along with some Bo Bichette, uh, bad defensive lapses. And the offense had two runs on six hits as they fall 8-2 to the Rays. But you know what? It's game two. And in baseball, if you've ever played the game, you know you have to have a short memory. You were never going 162-0. You were never beating the Rays. What is it, 13 times you play them every year? 13-0. You just weren't going to do that. And today, the Bo Bichette errors really killed you. Because if you look at the team numbers, they had three errors. All three of them were Bo Bichette. And it's not great. We go to this first scoring of the game. George Springer gets another home run. And in the exact same spot he did yesterday. Second time through the order. Leaning off for the Blue Jays. Right? Because obviously, you know, Bijou gets out. Springer comes up. Cup bang. You're up 1-0. You feel pretty good, right? Top of the third. Bassett's gone two strong innings. You get the lead now. You're feeling pretty confident. But in that next half inning. In the bottom, oh no, it was the third inning that happened. I don't know why I said the fourth. But bottom of the third inning, a couple base runners get on. And we'll go to that and break that thing down. So, yeah, Brown, Brown, what? Ben uh, Rodeve, Rode, he played for the Yankees last year. You guys know what I'm talking about, the backup catcher. He hits a single. It's fine, whatever. But then Caballero gets hit by a pitch. And you're thinking, okay, 2-1, nobody out. Let's see how Chris Bassett goes through this. Then Yandy Diaz hits a chopper to short. And Bo, if he comes up with this cleanly, at the very least, he's got an out at second base. Maybe a double play, probably not. But if he does, let's say, let's say he gets the one out, right? He gets a guy at second, runners in the corners with one away. But he can make the play. Everybody's safe. Base is loaded. Nobody out for Brendan Lau. And I get it, the errors on Bo. But if you're Chris Bassett, 91 right down the middle? Yeah, that's not getting by anybody. As Brendan Lau tattoos this thing to right center field, and it's gone. A grand slam for Brendan Lau, and the Rays go up 4-1. Now, me, as a somehow positive mindset, spins this as, okay, the Jays are now down 4-1. How do they respond? Well, they didn't. The offense dries up. Aaron Savale in the bullpen for the uh, Tambay Rays is a good job. And the Jays' offense really goes without a whimper. It was just kind of nothing. Like I said, they had a total of six hits in the ball game. Vladdy had two of them. I think it was a bloop single and then a rip single up the middle. Sure. But that was it. Well, Springer's bomb. Fair enough. Um, but the Jays' offense today wasn't great. And the defense was awful because Vladdy makes a great diving play. But then overthrows Chris Bassett. Then there's a wide throw from Bo Bichette to first base. Pulls Vladdy off the base. But it goes by him. Giving the base runner an extra 90 feet. Like, it was it was ugly. Like, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I get it. Two games into the season, you don't want to overreact. But I'm talking about what I witnessed today. And it was bad defense. What did we talk about all last season? Pitching defense is going to win this team games. Yes, they scored eight in game one of the season yesterday. Great. Remember when they did the, the, the two seasons prior? offensively in game one of the season massive comebacks leading to wins where they score like double digit runs it doesn't happen every night but what this team is going to pride themselves on all year long is pitching and defense 
Bo comes up with that play in the third. Turns the double play. Now there's two on and a guy, two out and a guy at third. Right? Or it'd be second and third. No, I think it'd be third. No, it'd be th- third base. No? Third base. Right. And they may have scored one run. Fine. Whatever. Or no, 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 sorry. It was first and second, right? So, you know, no, you would have got a guy at third and two out. A chance to get out of that with still a, 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 a one nothing Jays lead. That does not happen. You're down 4-1. And it was pretty much curtains at that point. Now, the Rays do add on. Randy Rosarina hitting an RBI single, scoring Yandy Diaz. Caballero scoring on a fielder's choice, scoring Jose Siri. Yandy Diaz, it's an RBI single. The catcher scores on the play. And you're like, yeah, you're curtains, right? You're down six, was it? No, it was eight one at that point, excuse me. And you're like, yeah, the game's over. And, and the Jays really felt that when it was 5 1. You know why? We saw Wes Parsons. And I don't care about how meaty people talking about Wes Parsons' stuff in the spring. I don't give a crap about that. Show it to me in a game that really matters. Because the only time we saw Wes Parsons was last season. And that was the last game of the year against the Rays. Where we got our absolute ass kicked in. And he was awful. And he went three innings today. allowed four hits and three earned runs. He's not good. I hate to say it. I think Mitch White gives you a better chance. Just going to leave that there. Just going to leave that. Uh, they lose 8-2. Yeah, sure, Kirk, he has a sack fly scoring Justin Turner. He had a double in the game. Uh, that's about it. Um, just a bad game overall in all aspects, right? Your pitching wasn't good. Some pretty bad pitches from your pitchers. Your defense definitely wasn't good, especially from Bo Bichette. And your team had six hits. Yesterday, everything went great. Today, Everything went bad. And you're one and one on the season. Let's move on. So tomorrow, game three of the four games set at the Trop is Yusei Kikuchi versus Zach Littell. So to give you a little Zach Littell background for Jays fans who don't really know who the hell this guy is, last year he pitched for the Tampa Bay Rays and of course had a pretty decent season, right? Of course he did. Um, he threw 26 games, had 14 starts with the Rays last season. 87 innings, had an ERA of 393, and I believe, I can't remember if he had one bad game against the Jays. I think he did. I can't quite remember that exactly, but you go back to his 2023, he only played, or sorry, he only played two games with the Red Sox before that, and he threw three innings, allowed nine, had an ERA of nine the year prior in 2022 with the uh, San Francisco Giants, had played 39 games through 44 innings, and an ERA of 5.08. He ain't that great! But I'm so nervous about Kikuchi, and I got to see this offense do it again. Now, for the Blue Jays, this early in the season, especially against your interdivisional opponents, you got to take it series by series. Don't think about the broad record. Don't think about, oh, what did the Red Sox do today? Oh, what did the Yankees do today? Oh, what did the Orioles do today? It doesn't matter. This early in the season, it does not matter. It matters what you do head-to-head. So we get the Rays right now. It's a split series right now at the drop. That's fine. That is fine. You win tomorrow, you have a chance in the finale with possibly Kevin Gosman going on the hill to win that series. So let's see what happens. 4-10 first pitch at the drop, game three of the four-game series against the Rays, right? So you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, and most definitely not this game today, hit that like button. I do appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button. If you not already, comment down below. Thoughts on the video. Thoughts on the game today because it wasn't great. All that stuff. Let me know in the comments below. Twitter, Discord, Instagram, and of course, TikTok is down below. So follow up there if you've, not done, if you've not done so already. And I will talk to you guys, okay, Raptors edition, Sunday, 6 p.m. as they host uh, Nick Nurse and the 76ers. Let's see what happens there. Uh, Leafs edition, tomorrow night as they are in Buffalo, taking on the Sabres. 7 o'clock puck drop there on Hockey Night in Canada. And as for the Blue Jays, they're back in action tomorrow at 4-10 as they're at the drop, taking the Rays in Game 3 of the four-game series to start the season. Yusei Kikuchi, Zach Littell is the pitching matchup there. Thank you so much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And, of course, not this game today. Talk to you guys then.